Tiggy Tiger, Crocky Rocky, Bully Bolito. What do those names tell you? What if I told you that the new Smiling Critters, who we'll be seeing already in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4? Smiling Critters are definitely the favorites of Poppy Playtime fans, even though some characters from this company have been given very little attention, and some have not been given it at all, they still manage to charm and fall in love with a lot of people. Hello dear friends, glad to see you on my channel, in my previous videos I already told you about the fates of all Smiling Critters members, and we also tried to determine their chances of appearing in the fourth chapter of Poppy Playtime. However, many of you think that we will not see the old Smiling Critters in the game, so today I decided to tell you about the new Smiling Critters, a completely different lineup that I expect to see in the fourth chapter. Be sure to watch this video until the end to stay up to date with all the news from the world of Poppy Playtime. Let's go! Before I announce the new Smiling Critters lineup, I suggest you to refresh your memory and remember all about those who we have already seen and know quite well. The first one I would like to remind you about is Dog Day. He is a cheerful dog, who is always ready to help, not for nothing he is the leader of Smiling Critters. Next is Bobby Bear Hug. He is a red bear who is ready to support his friends in hard times. Another member is Picky Piggy who, as you may have realized, is a piggy who only at first glance seems cute, but as we later find out is a bloodthirsty monster, some members of Smiling Critters would confirm this to you. There is also Bubba Bubba Fant, who is an elephant who is very wise and always gives his friends sound advice. The next one I would like to name would be Crafty Corn is a unicorn who is a creative person. There is also a character like Hoppy Hopscotch, who is a rabbit who is very energetic and an avid sports fan. There is also Kickin' Chicken is a chicken with yellow feathers, who loves cool sports, especially he is fond of surfing, and he also craved to leave Playcare because of all the horrors that were going on there and maybe he succeeded. And we should not forget about Catnap, a cat with purple hair, who has a superpower, namely to release poppy gas, which causes hallucinations. Well now I propose to get to the most interesting thing, to what we are here for, namely to get acquainted with the new Smiling Critters cast, with those who we can see already in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. The first person I'd like to introduce is Tiggy Tiger. When we meet his cardboard, he offers us to be friends and spend time together, then he asks where his friends from Smiling Critters are, then his mood changes abruptly, and Tiggy Tiger tells us that he hates them for leaving him and that his revenge will be harsh and at the end of his speech we hear horrible screams. The next new member of Smiling Critters that we can also expect to see in the fourth chapter is Crocky Rocky, who as we can see from his cardboard is a green dinosaur who offers us to be cool. Also from him we learn that he and Kickin' Chicken are brothers, and they were the coolest kids. Also he tells us about the situation with Bobby Bearhug, how they locked him in the closet. Later his speech is also cut short by a horrible scream. The next newcomer to Smiling Critters is Snidey Spidey, he is, as you might have guessed, a spider. From his cardboard, we learn that he likes to scare people. He tells us that when he sees scared faces, it makes his blood boil. His speech, like the previous newcomers, also ends with a scream. Another newcomer is Bully Bolito, who immediately brags to us about his strength. He tells us to exercise to become as strong as him. In his conversation, he mentions Crafty Corn and tells us about his affection for her. His conversation also ends with shouting. The next character is Riddle Roo, who appears to be a kangaroo. From her cardboard we learn that she is a collector of various things. She then decides to show us something from her collection, and it turns out to be human fingers. Her conversation, like all the previous characters, ends with a scream. I have one more character. This is Griffy Gingers. From his cardboard we learn that he is an avid joker. He once pranked Miss Delight by putting a sharp pin on her chair. Then he offers us to help him with his best prank, namely to hang a bucket of water over Miss Delight's office door so that when she opened the door the water would pour over her head. From the conversation, we also learn that he got into Miss Delight's office and that she was doing something with her sisters. As you can guess, his conversation also ended with her screaming. Another prospective member of the new Smiling Critters is Moody Moose, a moose who seems to be very shy. We learn from his cardboard that he can't even remember his name when asked. We also learn that he seems to be new here. He doesn't even know what this place is. He also tells us that he is homeless and asks for a bed. His speech, like all the others, is cut short by screams. Well, you didn't think I was going to name some new characters and leave it at that, did you? Of course not. Now I want to share with you my theories about the new Smiling Critters lineup. First of all, I would like to present not even a theory, but my expectation. Namely, that we will most likely see a new cartoon about them, and in it, we will see not only a new cast, but also the one we were introduced to in the third chapter. Because as we have already learned from their cardboards, they all know each other. Some of them are even related to each other, in case you forgot Crocky Rocky mentioned that his brother is Kickin' Chicken. 
My first theory is that the new cast of Smiling Critters in the fourth chapter will already be the main characters. I think they will be in some way like Catnap the Servants of Prototype. They will do his bidding and keep the whole Playcare territory in fear, especially those who won't obey their god. Hence, we are likely to see new locations, because it would be strange if the locations remain the same and there will be so many new characters. I have one more theory, and it is that after the Hour of Joy, Prototype left alive only Catnap and chained Dog Day to the cage, and all the other smiling critters, both new and familiar to us, he killed and left only their mini-versions. My next theory is not about all smiling critters, but about two brothers, namely Kickin' Chicken and Crocky Rocky, and it is that they escaped after the Hour of Joy and are hiding somewhere in Playcare territory or not far beyond it, and maybe in the new chapter we will see their reunion. After all, as we know from Kickin' Chicken's cardboard, he wanted to escape very badly, and I think he wouldn't have left his brother behind in this nightmare, and would have brought him with him. And that's not all. The next theory is that the smiling critters that we haven't seen in the game will appear in the game to avenge Prototype for his old friends. They will have a fight, but they will lose it. Thus, Prototype will become even stronger and closer to the fulfillment of his plan, which gives us hope that we will see not only his arm, but his whole body at the end of the fourth chapter. But do not forget that maybe they will not show all of them, as it was Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. But for example, they will leave only one of them alive, and he will tell us what happened to the others. So for example, I see Snidey Spidey as the survivor. Even when listening to his cardboard, we can hear his cruelty, because he tells us that his blood boils when he sees the frightened faces of people, so he could easily become one of the main antagonists in the fourth chapter and help prototype in the execution of his plan. I think a lot of you enjoyed Crafty Corn. For truly, I can't find a single flaw in her. She was kind, sweet, and also really liked to draw. But you're going to say, what does Crafty Corn have to do with the new smiling critters? Actually, one of the monsters in the new cast has a thing for our unicorn, and I'm talking about the rather formidable Bully Bolito, and it is their story together that can be told in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. As we progress through the game, we'll make our way to a new location that has been destroyed by someone. I'll tell you later, of course, who the bully was who did it. So after we find ourselves in a new location that after a few minutes we will hear the screams of help, as soon as we get closer, we will immediately see a familiar silhouette in the window, and it will be Crafty Corn, who will be desperately trying to get someone out of the rubble. When Crafty Corn sees us, she will ask for our help. Seeing that our unicorn really sincerely asks for help and not trying to trap us, we will immediately try to help her. And after we remove some debris, a huge horn will appear in front of our eyes and red wool around it. This is how we will meet Bully Bolito. After that, between us and these two smiling critters will begin a dialogue from which we will gradually learn who is the prototype and for what purpose he tried to subjugate all the smiling critters. We also learn more information about Catnap and why he became one of the few who trusted the prototype. And by the way, remember I promised to tell you about the one who destroyed the location where we found Bully Bolito. Well, it was Catnap and he only did it to kill our bull. And since smiling critters have been living on Playtime Cavern territory for a long time, they obviously know this area much better than we do, and it is Crafty Corn and Bully Bolito who will be our companions throughout the game. And this will last until we meet the prototype. And during the battle with him, our brave smiling critters will be on our defense and unfortunately will be killed by the prototype or by one of his new assistants. But of course, there is a possibility that the developers will add new smiling critters gradually, not all at once, while revealing their stories in more detail. But I have a sad theory, and it is that we will not see them as characters, Maybe we will be shown their cardboards in Chapter 4 to tell us that they are there, but that's it. Of course, I, like many of you, would like to know more about the new Smiling Critters cast. I would like them to tell us the story of the prototype incident and why Catnap became that way. But I think that this information will be revealed to us when the new version of the game will be released. In the meantime, I'd love to hear in the comments, which Smiling Critters character did you like the most? Which theory seems most plausible to you? Leave your opinions in the comments and share your opinions as well. I'd be insanely happy to hear them. Leave a like under this video. Subscribe to the channel to always be the first to know about all the news from the world of Poppy Playtime. Well, that's all for today, dear friends. See you soon. Bye.